Okay, so I've, I've got quite a fair bit of explaining to do. Uh, so four months ago, we posted the last video and now four months later, we're back. Um, basically, I've been so busy with racing and all that and haven't actually been able to find someone to paint the car. So I didn't want to go finish everything and post the last video and 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 uh, let it sit there with no other content in between. So I've, I've found someone to paint the car finally. Uh, the date today is 8th of September. Um, so he reckons he's gonna get it done by the end of the year, which is awesome. He's uh, super keen on the project and I can't wait to send it off to him. At least, you know, within this period of time, I've, I've found someone that's good and, and wanting to do it instead of just someone that's just gonna pump it out and, you know, just get it done for cash. He's actually quite invested in the projects. In between then and now, I haven't actually touched a car at all. So we still gotta, still gotta melt the guards out, but with this next footage that I'm gonna show you is the last part to shaving the engine bay. So in this, uh, four months ago, we actually finished shaving the engine bay completely. So we're just up to um, you now just cutting the rear tubs out and finishing that off and then we can send it off to him. So he can take the parts as well. So in the next video, I'm gonna disassemble everything and get ready to, to send the parts off to him and, and take it to him. So he's ready to paint it. Uh, with the color, we're gonna go with the factory color and found out the car's actually acrylic. So that actually means the, the paint, the external paint's gonna come down to bare metal. He's gonna finish it and uh, paint from the bare metal, which give it a much nicer finish than painting over the top. The engine bay is gonna get soda blasted so we can start from scratch, make sure there's no cracks and all that sort of stuff. So we'll finish that off. Um, then after that, after hopefully the next video, we are going to be start starting on the parts. So I don't know what we should start first. Maybe the engine. I'm still waiting for some bits and bobs for that. So it might be the boring stuff like uh, soda blasting and sand blasting, all the other components and respraying, and which is not boring, but it's just a timely process. But you know, it needs to be done. I want it to be perfect. We've come all this way. Um, and it needs to be done. Saw some new parts for the car. Um, I've got new guards for the front and a new lower bar and new mid bar. Uh, so it's gonna look quite nice. So I'll send that off to him after I strip it. Anyway, I'll let the, the video take care of itself. So what you're gonna see next is footage, old footage from about four months ago. Um, and then after that, we should try and keep up to date. No promises. I've been really busy lately with racing and work. So hopefully we can still crack out a video a week, but there'll definitely be one next week and getting the car ready for paint. So sorry for the, I guess, the big delay or whatever. I just, uh, yeah, life sort of taken over. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoy the next one. We finally get to finish the, the engine bay. So yeah. Okay, it's time to get back into it. So today I went and got some sheet metal so we can start plugging up the firewall holes. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some templates with cardboard first and then use those to transfer onto the sheet metal. Uh, it's just a bunch of circles really. Um, so it'd be annoying to cut just with the grinder. So it might take a bit of time, hence why we're making um, some templates. Uh, so we'll get started on that. I'll show you the process. And then what we're gonna do is tack them on, make sure they all fit nice and flush because that is really, really important. Uh, weld it up and grind it back. So the, the holes that we're uh, filling are these two that were for the battery, uh, the main power uh, loom hole and also the engine loom hole on that side. And I believe there's just a little hole here that we need to fill up as well. So there's not too many, which is good. Super thankful for that. But it was really important we went and got some sheet metal because we're also going to need to use it to fix this little part on the plenum. Uh, I think it's just rusted off or whatever. So I can get that sorted as well somewhat today. Uh, still waiting on the air tools. So I can't finish all the stitch welding off. It's so annoying. Um, it's just hard to reach spots. You can't get with just a normal air sander. You need that finger linisher. So we'll get started on that. We'll make some templates and uh, see how we end up. So all the holes now in little cardboard templates uh, just here. So I'm gonna transfer that now onto the sheet metal, mark it out and see how well I can cut them out in circles with the grinder. So we'll get that done. Okay, so I've made a couple of these circles up. They turned out pretty good considering I just had a grinder and a flappy disc. Um, what I'm gonna do is clean the section that I'm gonna put them in uh, up. So from the inside and the outside. So that's in, including the cockpit inside the cabin. Um, clean the paint off, uh, tack it in place, see how it looks. We're gonna to have to do a bit of grinding because this 1.6 is just, I think, 
uh, maybe 0.2 thicker than what the actual shell's made out of. So I guess that gives me a bit more freedom in, in terms of how much I take off to make it nice and flat. So we'll get started on that and see how it turns out. So I've welded it in. It doesn't look too crash hot, but I'm not really concerned because it's not really a structural component. Um, if it was, for example, such as the, the seam welding, um, then we'd have an issue, but because I can just bondo over it and fill the little holes, uh, it shouldn't be an issue, but really there's like little holes sort of around the circle. You can actually see it because I've had to grind it back, but I mean, it's not like I'm going to be putting any weight there. So I'll just clean the other side as best as possible and then, um, just bondo over it. It really shouldn't matter. It's just a filler. Uh, with the other one, I think I'm just going to tick it. Um, the reason being is I don't really need to clean the other side with the other wiring loom holes because it's not visible. So it doesn't really matter what it looks like. It's just that one where the battery sits because it is important to um, that the other side is clean as well. So heaps of Bondo over that. I don't know why it sort of turned out like that, but um, I think maybe it didn't have the heat enough and it didn't sort of penetrate through, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Thankfully I've dodged a bullet there. I'm gonna have to go get some uh, paint that you can weld on because uh, I've got to fill these little holes here on the uh, quarter panel area just here so I'm going to fill this but I'm going to have to spray like that welding paint so it doesn't rust so I'm going to go get that and uh, I'll come back with it tomorrow okay so I've just finished the last firewall hole we are patching so that's it there just in the corner that's all nice and clean now uh, next up we're going to be taking this part of the guard out, uh, completely getting rid of it. Same as this side, it's already out, so I'll uh, might as well just take it out, make it nice and clean. Uh, also, well, weight reduction. <laughs> I'm just joking. Anyway, um, I'll cut that out, uh, clean it up, and then that's pretty much all I can do in terms of the engine bay uh, until we get the air tools to finish off the towers. So we've got some, we've had some serious progress. It's looking really, really, really nice. So um, cannot wait until it's completed. We'll cut this out and um, yeah, clean it up. I cut out the thingy McGiggy, so it's out now. I had to dress it um, just because I bent it a little bit. Uh, that's pretty much it now. So the only thing I've got to do um, in the engine bay is wait for the tools and then we're done. Um, and then I can sit the car down, put it back on its little jig, push the car out, and then I'm going to melt all these inner guards out. Um, there's a little issue I've found, since we're gonna be running some mad camber and it's gonna be really low, I think Porsche installed a tire cutter from factory. Uh, I'm gonna to have to get the light. Um, have a look this. See that big thing here? It's literally like a razor. So, after I push the car out, I'm gonna to have to melt all the inner guards and then cut push it up against the, the inside of the, the wheel well and, and weld it, it's another pain in the ass, like far out, did not expect to do that, but oh well, at least uh, we won't run into any troubles of uh, tire cutting and all that. Um, and also, I'll have to clean this up a little bit, um, it's a bit dirty there, so we're gonna wait until we melt the inner guards out for that, which is after we get the air tools. So, it's pretty much it. Uh, there's a couple brackets I've gotta cut out that were holding the battery in, so I'll do that now, and. Then, uh, then it's the waiting game. Okay, we are back after a long time being missing in action. Uh, we went racing once again in Perth, um, and also we were waiting for the extra air tools, and they've finally arrived so we can actually get stuck back into the engine bay um, and finish all the hard to reach spots. So I'm just gonna get started with that, get as much done as I can today because I really wanna send this thing off to paint. It's been too long. I think it's been like four months of it sitting here. So we'll get stuck into that, get as much done as we can today. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, finish it off. smoky it is in here all right so what i did was i went through with the belt sander and sanded everything i needed uh, that i couldn't do previously so i did all that 
uh, and then I re-welded everything that I couldn't reach. So that's all done. Um, so I'll just show you what I have completed. So I obviously finished the rest of the rail because I couldn't get uh, and sand in here with just the standard disc. Um, I've just had to touch up some other areas as well. Obviously cleaned off the ends here. Uh, still need a bit of work. Um, also welded the insides of the towers and finished that end piece there. There's still a little bit more to go. I have to weld these little cubes in. I was just waiting for the, the paint to dry. Um, and also got to finish off sort of this area in here and clean up in there. So I just need to go get some more belt sanding belts because I went through them all. They didn't last very long. I went through six of them in like an hour. So I'm going to go get some more of that um, and then come back and sand the welds I just completed and that should be pretty much it. Obviously I have to clean up a little bit um, in terms of all the welding and all that. So go with a, a higher grit um, belt sander, go over it, make it look really polished. <coughs> and that should be pretty much it for the engine bay. And then we can uh, get started on the rear tub so I can um, make a bit more clearance for the, for the wheels. So I'll go get some more shit and I'll see you soon. Well, I didn't think the day would come, but I can confidently say that the engine bay is pretty much complete in terms of shaving. I don't know why I'm so excited and happy, but we've put a serious amount of hours into the work uh, in the engine bay to make it all smooth and whatever. Um, and it actually looks really good. So I'm really surprised. I'll show you what the end result kind of looks like now. So as you can see, there are no seams anywhere. The insides of the towers are done. The towers are all straight as well. Um, all the tops are done. I obviously welded in these little top ends for the um, top of the wheel well, that's all done. Same as the other side, everything looks smooth as. Um, obviously the holes in the firewall have been filled up that we don't want. Everything's grounded back that we don't need. Um, it, it looks amazing, it really does. Um, the only thing that we really need to do before we send it off to paint is sound deadening and the rear wheel wells, we're still going to do that. But um, in the meantime, I think we've got a bit of time until we can send it off anyway, so um, I'm going to take my time to do the rear wheel wells because it's going to be a pain in the bum to do, but at least the engine bay is pretty much done. Um, I don't think and I don't really want to do all the bog work just because I'm really inexperienced in that and be ashamed to um, to see all this hard metal work go to waste and, and really not show after um, bogging it all up and stuff just because I, I, I don't know how to do it properly, right? I'd rather leave it to the professionals, get them to do it really well and uh, show the metal work sort of thing. So anyway, that's all done now. I'm gonna end today um, just because I don't really need to, to rush this now. I've got to do the rear wheel wells um, and go find out who's going to paint this bad boy. So yeah, I'm super happy. It looks unreal. I'll show you again just how nice the towers have turned out. Um, a lot different to where they were, right? Uh, I sat there with the Dremel even doing all the little corners and stuff just to make sure it was perfect. Um, took forever, about a month, um, probably about 100 hours of work. Um, but it's going to look awesome when it's powdered, uh, painted. So um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll crack on with the rear next time.